Welcome to a new video from Accelerated Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB 13, we are going to see how we can perform two dimension search using formulas and power query. First of all, what we mean by two dimension search, this means that you can search for a value in a table using two criteria. And we are going to use formulas to perform this in the first section of the video. So we're going to see how we can use VLOOKUP plus MATCH so we can perform the two dimension search inside a lookup table. And also in the second half, we are going to see how we can use power query and we're going to learn how we can do unpivot columns and again merge with left outer join kind. And this is not the first time to talk about merge. We started talking about merge in video PQB09. If you want to start looking at the merge um, examples from the beginning, you can see the link below in the description for video PQB09. And also you'll find the link up on the screen right now. So you can just click on it and start the merge journey from the very beginning. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. In our practical example today, as you can see, we have two tables. The first table on the left hand side, you can see this is the daily sales from uh, AAA bike shops. You can see in the first column, we have the dates and then we have the product name and then the color of the product, then the quantity. And if you look at the number of the rows, you will find that we have around 984 uh, rows or records. And on the right hand side, we have the price list. You'll see that we have the products, the list of the products. It's only four products. And here is all the possible colors of these products and in the intersection between the product and the color you'll see the price of each uh, product so you can see that something like mountain bikes we have 200 and 200 for white and black but for the other cars there is different uh, pricing and what we want to do is to bring the prices here in this column we need to search this table and bring here the correct price for each uh, combination of product and color and finally, we just calculate the revenue by multiplying the price times the quantity. So in, in, as you can see, we have two tabs, first one called formula and the other one called power query. In the first half of this video, we are going to start with the how we can do this using formulas. And for sure, the most famous formula for search in Excel is the VLOOKUP. So we are going to start using the VLOOKUP, but first of all, let me just quickly try to zoom in in order to see the formula together. So I'm going to start in uh, cell E2. I'm going to start with the first row. Let me try to bring the correct price for mountain bikes, the red color. I'm going to use VLOOKUP as I mentioned. So I'm going to type equal at the beginning. So I have here in the formula bar and inside the cell itself equal. And let me try to find VLOOKUP formula. If you type just VL, you will see this is the first option that you're going to have. So you can just double click by the mouse or just tap with your keyboard and it will write the correct formula VLOOKUP and uh, open bracket. And you can start to write to put your parameters inside the formula. First thing, as you can see here is the lookup value. Where is the lookup value for us? This will be in B2, which is mountain bikes. I'm going to select by the mouse. It will write B2, as you can see here. And then let me put comma to start the second parameter or the second part of the, of the formula. Now he's asking for the table array. Where is the table that I want to search in? For me, for sure, it will be the second table. So I'm going to select by the mouse from H. Uh, 1 up to um, M5. Uh, you can see here H1 to M5. This is the correct range. However, I want to make it absolute reference, meaning that if I copy the formula right or down, the, the range should not be changed. That's why I will need to do it as an absolute reference. I can do this simply by just pressing F4 from my keyboard and you will see it write the dollar sign dollar sign. So now I'm ready. I have my table array and I use the absolute reference. Then I'm going to press on comma again and now is asking me for the column index. 
on which column I want to retrieve the correct answer so the equation will search in the first column for sure and whenever it will find uh, the lookup value which is mountain bike here it it will going to retrieve a value from one of these uh, columns for me um, I know that the red color in the one two three four fourth column so I can just write four for the moment I'm going to write four by uh, myself and then comma again and now asking you if you want the match to be approximate or uh, exact match for us exact match is what we want so it should be false I can replace it by zero but false will do I can just type it or double click here it will write false and then close the brackets and press on enter you will see that the value retrieved is 220 which is fine if you search the table yourself you will find that the product mountain bike is the second line and if you go to the red column you'll see the amount is 220 which is fine however the issue now I wrote number four myself and if I try to copy the formula down it will always bring the red color even for this row road bikes with blue it will bring again the red not the blue and if you check here you'll see that the road bikes in the third column if you go right to the blue you will find that the blue is 200, 320 however it brings the wrong answer for the red column 3 and 330 why because inside the formula we hard coded the number 4 so each time it will bring the color red now let me delete this one and let's think about uh, another formula that will help us to bring the correct color or the correct uh, column index inside the VLOOKUP uh, formula for me I'm going to use match so let's try to write match alone in this cell so I'm going to press on equal and then let me try to write match MAT you'll see the first option here is match just tap with your uh, keyboard and then you can start to put your parameters inside the formula first parameter as you can see lookup value for me this time I'm going to go to the colors not the product name let me try to find where is the blue so I'm going to select uh, C3 and then comma and again the lookup array so there is a difference between lookup array in uh, VLOOKUP and in MATCH lookup array in um, VLOOKUP can be multi uh, rows or multi columns so you can select a table like this however for MATCH it will be only a single array meaning that you can take only one row or only one column so you cannot do something like this you can only take one column like this or one row like this for us we are going to search only uh, the headers so I'm going to search uh, the array h1 to m1 which represent the headers for this table again don't forget to press f4 in order to make this reference absolute reference now we are ready comma the again the match type exact or less than or greater than for us should be the exact match so you can use zero this is the symbol for exact match and close the brackets and enter you will see that this formula returns five and five meaning that this is the position of the blue color inside these headers product white black red blue one two three four five so the position in this table for blue is number five so this is exactly what I want inside the formula up here so if I replaced the number four the hard-coded number four with this match formula this will give the VLOOKUP the correct column index and all the retrieval will be automatic so I can just copy the formula from here control C and I'm going to go to replace the number four carefully I'm going to select the number four the hard-coded number four here and control V just to paste and don't forget to change the C3 here to C2 I can do it by my hand or I can just drag it from here and now I think I'm good to go if I press on enter mountain bikes red 220 let me check mountain bike red 220 this is correct let's try for the second cell I'm going to just copy one below road bikes blue here is road bikes blue and it is correct also 320 I can just do for the rest of the table if I just double click here it will copy down till the end now I can simply calculate the revenue equal the quantity times price and enter 
I can just use the keyboard I can go down to the bottom of the table the empty cell at the bottom of this column control and shift together and arrow up so I selected starting from the first equation control D to copy down so I have my revenue ready and all is good so let's go to the second uh, tab and try to see how we can perform the same using power query so as you can see I have a copy here from the same data but I put it inside a table format in order to send them directly to the power query and also I gave meaningful name to these two tables so if you check if you select any cell inside this table the first one on the left hand side and and you check the table design tab you'll see that I give name sales T or sales transaction and also the same uh, for the second table I give a meaningful name price list for this table so I can just can quickly start and put this inside the power query I'm going to select any cell inside the second table I'm going to start with the second table the price list and I'm going to data ribbon and on the left hand side get and transform data this is the power query section and I can use this icon if I hover over it you'll see that it is from table or range I can just click on it it will trigger the power query editor on the right hand side you'll see the query settings start with the properties name is inherited from the name of the table and then I have two applied steps first one is the source and second one is change type Excel automatically tried to give the correct uh, data type for each column let me check quickly ABC meaning it is text good for the product name one to three for all the colors meaning that the prices is whole number which is fine for me however I want to do some transformation to this table this type of tables is not good for data analysis it's good for reporting and we call this kind of tables a uh, cross tabular meaning that you have some information in the column and some information in the rows and the data is in intersection between the columns and the rows and this uh, table format is not very good for data analysis and for sure it's better to put the table in a proper data format to ease your work inside power query so what I want to do is to unpivot this table meaning that I want to bring all these headers inside the rows meaning that I'm going to have much more rows so I will have one column for the products and one column for the colors and then one column for the value and this we call it tabular form or a proper uh, table format so it's it's much easier when we deal with a data analysis in order to do this it's very easy from transform ribbon you will see something called unpivot columns I want to unpivot all uh, the colors so I'm going to select first one press on shift and select uh, last one I can just press on unpivot columns or I can just select the first one the product that I don't want to unpivot and I can go to unpivot columns and select unpivot other columns once I press this button you'll see that it's automatically done in less than a second and you'll see that I have one column for the products and one column for the colors but automatically Excel gave it um, a name called attribute let me change this to color and enter and one column for the value as you can see and this for me is the price double click type price and enter and you'll see that I have additional two uh, applied steps first one is unpivot other columns if you just go back you'll see this is the original format one step ahead you'll see that unpivot other columns and finally the change of the headers you can just delete any of these steps and go back and rework if you need to change anything so now we are ready we can just load this I can go to file close and load to it will close the power query editor and this window will pop up the import data dialog box and for me I need it in a, as a connection only so I'm going to select only create a connection and click on ok you will see that I'll have the queries and connection pane triggered and I have only one um, query called price list and it is connection only now let's try to work with the other table the sales transaction table again while selecting any cell inside the table I'm going to data ribbon on the left hand side get a transform I'm going to select this icon just I'm going to click on it it will trigger again the power query editor on the right hand side the name inherited from the name of the table and again the two steps the source and change type 
when Excel automatically tries to detect the type of the proper type of the data. First column is date, but you can see it is date and time together. It's better to keep it like date only. I'm going to select from this icon and select date instead of date and time. It will ask you if you want to change, um, do this change by replace the current step or add new step. For me, it's better to replace the current step because it will reduce the number of steps in your uh, applied steps here and it will be much faster in performing uh, your analysis. And then the um, ABC, ABC, it is, as you know, it is just the uh, symbol for text and it is good for the product ID and the color. And finally, one, two, three for quantity. And it is okay also because one, two, three is a whole number. Now I want to start to do my merge. I want to search the data. I want to search mountain bikes red and bring the correct price inside this query from the other table. I'm going to do this using merge. So while selecting this query, I'm going to home ribbon and from combined section, I'm going to select merge. Once I click on merge queries, it will trigger the merge query dialog box because I'm working from the sales T table right now. So it's by default the first table on the top half of the screen. I'm going to select the other table from this drop down list. So I'm going to select the price list and I will see a small preview as you can see here for the other table. And now I'm going to tell Power Query where is the column or the columns that the query are going to use to merge between this or join between these two tables. So obviously first one will be the product and the second one for sure will be the color. So I'm going to select the product and then press on control and then select color. Again, if you look now, if we zoom in, you see that there is one and two. And this is the order that I started to select with. I started at the beginning, the product ID and then the column color. And here is the order that I used to select. Then I'm going to do the same in the second table. So I'm going to select product and then press control and hold and then color. And you'll see that one and two also. So one is the product ID, two is the color. Here one is product and two is the color, which is okay. And if you check the join kind is left outer. And if you check here, this uh, green tick telling you that the selection matches 983 of 983 rows from the first table, meaning that Excel managed to find a match for each row in this table from the other table or from the lookup table, which is very good for us. I can just click on OK, a new column will be created and it called price list. This is the name of the other table. Now uh, you can see here uh, every cell or every uh, record in this column uh, contains something called table. If you want to preview what inside this table, don't select from the table word itself, just select from the white area here on the right hand side on the right uh, of the cell and you will see below the preview of this table and you will see here is the match that found on the other table. So if you look here, we have the mountain bikes, we have the mountain bikes red. If you go down, we have the mountain bike red and here is the price 220. Second row, road bikes blue. And if you select here from the uh, white area, you will see here is the match road bikes blue. And here is the price for road bikes blue. Now, instead of this word table, 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 I just need to expand and see the price in this column inside the same query. So I can easily uh, select the expand button. Just I click on it, it will give you some options. I want only the price, so I'm going to uncheck product, uncheck color. I need only the price. Here is the price checked. And don't forget to uncheck use original column as prefix and then click on OK. A new column will be created called price and here all the prices that matches your criteria from the other table. Final step, I need to just calculate the revenue. While selecting the price column, I'm going to press on control and select also the quantity column. And from the add column menu or add column ribbon, you will see something called from number. And here is something called standard. Just click on it and select multiply. Once you do this, a new column called multiplication will be created. And here is the multiplication between these two columns. Um, the default name is multiplication. I think it's not proper for this purpose. So I'm going to double click and call it revenue and enter. 
I think now we are ready. You will see here all the steps. Here the source, change type, then we, we merge the query, we did the expansion, then we inserted the multiplication, and finally we did the rename of the last uh, column to be revenue instead of multiplication. I think we can just load this to Excel. So from home, close and load, close and load to, Power Query Editor will be closed and the import data dialog box will be popped up. I'm going to put it in a table in this existing worksheet. A new table will be created containing the last result or the final result. You can see here the same table that we started with. However, we have two additional columns, one for the price and the second one for the revenue. I think it is very easy and straightforward how we can perform two-dimensional search inside Power Query and we saw how we can do a merge using more than one column inside Power Query using the join uh, kind left outer and I can tell you if you have more than three or four or even six or seven columns that you want to use as a, a join criteria or merge criteria it is easy you can perform it the same way inside Power Query and finally, before leaving you, if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel, please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video and bye.